In this video, we'll write the structure for 2-methylhexane, that's C7H16. So we know when we see hexane, hex, that means six. So we'll have six carbons in A-N-E. That means there'll be an alkane. It'll be all single bonds. So let's do a chain of six carbons. We have one, two, so we'll add three, four, five, six. So this is our chain of six carbons, and you can see that pretty clearly here with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because it's two methylhexane, we're going to put a methyl group on the second carbon. One, two, we put a methyl group here. And this is one, two methylhexane. We could have put it here, be the same thing. Let's put some hydrogen atoms around this. So you can see there the structure with hydrogen atoms, although we don't usually write them. The key here is each carbon is bonded to four things. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So here's the structure for 2-methylhexane in three dimensions, a ball and stick model. We have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And then on the second one, we have our methyl group, 2-methylhexane. You can see if we had the carbon over here, the methyl group over here, it would still be 2-methylhexane. We have 1, 2, there's that methyl group, 3, 4, 5, 6. So either way works. And it's still 2-methylhexane if we turn it upside down. So let's clean this up a little bit. And this is what we would expect to see for the structure for 2-methylhexane without the hydrogens written in. We could put the hydrogens in, that would work. Each carbon has four things. And you can see again, we have our methyl group on the second carbon for 2-methylhexane. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.